nightmares in my head I fear All right, welcome back everyone So no we Left off in Delhart we dropped off a load of cows to uh, Nestle at a farm and the thing is they uh, taken those cows in they have to kind of rotate their animals so they asked me to move some more but the thing is it's more than what I did before and I really didn't have the trailer to do it so I asked the farmer do they have a place around this area to rent a trailer and I can just leave my trailer at his place he said there uh, really isn't place isn't a place like that around here but there is a dealership it's pretty much an all-around even though it's a small town let that train go by it's gonna scream for a second that was a bell going off for a little while he said it Delhart's not necessarily a small town but he said there's a small dealership sells a little bit of everything right over there grab me some breakfast and the thing is they had a full size um, cattle hauler like one of those massive ones so I was going I decided I just might as well trade it in just a couple of years older but I also seen that he had a 1950s Peterbilt sitting back there too that was in some pretty good condition and I asked him uh, you know, it was a for sale sign on it and I asked him how much he wanted for it and he said 30 it was like 35 and with uh, I asked him all right with the trading on the trailer how much is that and uh, he said that'll be probably around 30 also and I said well let's make a deal I said if I get the trailer with the trade-in and the truck um, can you make sure everything is roadworthy swap the tires from my trailer to the new trailer or new ish trailer and everything he's like sure there's a shop that we own right here we bought this used to be a small gas station and they built all this they wanted to keep it small they just expanded so they own the shop over there so I said deal uh, I said just make sure that the trailer is in working order the trucks in working order because um, I do want to drive it but the thing is uh, I got this deal with Nestle so now we gotta take off and do this uh, I just got a call the trailer is over there at the shop gotta go pick it up they got the tires swapped and everything so let's go pick it up that never gets old Eight. Uh, it's like a little bit less than eight hours to pick up these cows. We gotta go down south a little ways. Then we gotta drive back. This old truck has no GPS in it or anything. It was a. Uh, it was bought by a World War II vet. He served in the war. Once he got out. Well, once the war was over, well, after a few years after the war was over, so he saved up and bought that truck and drove it for many years until a lot of the trucks started upgrading and all that stuff and everything was getting faster, so he just used it around on his farm. But he had recently passed away. And uh, this guy's had it for about a couple of years now, and he just 
can't do nothing with it and he hates to see it just sit there. So I'm gonna take it off his hands. Oh, this is a new trailer. Come on, there we go. Yeah, this one's way bigger. Mo bigger. And I got the tires on there. Tires and rims. They swap, everything good to go. Let's go back where we dropped those other cows off, pick up more, and then drop those off, and then make our way back. Try to at least. May have to pick up a load on the way back. parking brake on. Yeah, it's been a long day for me. Uh, I put some uh, oh, my bad. That was uh, my GPS turning on. Yeah, I got a GPS in my simulator. And like a little cluster that shows uh, like the gauges and stuff. Yeah, I'm definitely speeding. Need to slow down. I got like a new soundproofing mod. Well, it's not new. Um, it's new to me, but it's in the Steam Workshop. I think the next episode I'm going to uh, go over the mods. I did get a few new ones. I can say that every truck that's in the Steam Workshop I do have. And. Uh, like the past couple of nights I've been like testing them out make sure everything like works good like I had a big stutter but there was a train back there too my FPS has been like hanging at like 100 right now and it done like a big drop I had to adjust my settings just a little bit for the mods. Like I got like better mirrors, like up on um, point of view. 
it's a newer one not like the one that I usually use so I'm testing man I hit the brakes pretty hard right there it's a lot of cars I can't wait to drive this this old 1950s pickup I mean uh pickup Peterbilt and I'm gonna drive it with no GPS to straight up maps Well, this definitely is in the same place. I, I thought it was the same place, but it's not. It's like the headquarters, or whatever. Now you see why it was a big load of cows. Bigger load of cows. I guess I'm gotta go up here, yeah. So we're going to Lubbock, Texas. Not that far. And that's a decent amount of money for that. And then we're going to drive back. We're going to park the uh, Kenworth in the trailer. And we're going to snatch a load with that little truck. And we're going to see how far it takes us. Who knows? We may actually drive that little truck. Make a little money with it. May bring it back. Get some upgrades. And then work our way back to Colorado but we definitely before we leave Texas definitely gotta get the shop right here it's our main goal possibly hire a driver which we do have that truck I don't know uh, I don't really trust anybody driving the Kenworth but maybe we'll throw a driver in if I trust them maybe the driver that I have now that I trust maybe I'll throw them in it. Right, let's take this job. Need to stop and gabber. Jabber jabber. Oh, it is the same place. Oh, I came in a different direction. Yeah, it is the same place. And I'm picking up over here. Just straight. 
brighten up a little bit. Yeah, I'll come close to hitting that. Oh, yeah. It would have been nice if I could have just broke my arm, but they definitely don't make it that easy. Alright, there we go. And this is, this is a bigger trailer. I really gotta hook this silo. That's what I should have done to begin with. Which I am a little tired. I did feel like playing. I haven't been on it. I don't want to say about a couple of days. I bought Armor 3. It's on sale. I'm gonna start playing it for a bit too. Uh, this game. Took a while. Ooh, good thing I got a cab over. I would have smacked that if I had a nose. Yeah, I like Armor 3. I, I played a lot of DayZ too. Like, I bought a uh, standalone when it was game preview on console. And uh, played it like non stop for, I want to say, like two years straight. Like, I wouldn't play anything else but that like every day after work the weekends I would stay up like multiple nights the weekends that was quite a few years ago wow yo Got 204 miles to go. Let's see if we can do it. Yeah, this truck sounds really good. Yeah, I can't wait to get into that uh that old Peter Bell. been looking at a freight liner cab over also that'll probably be my next purchase is uh it's a freight liner cab over i'm gonna try to make a habit of uh when i do play with like a new truck or something i'm gonna uh try to make a habit of putting the bot in the bottom and who created it give him credit because I mean this I mean I mean this cab over right here is a nice truck I mean it's, it's really nice I love this truck
weird how the speed limit is 75 right here, but 30 right back there. I said it'll be it'll be good in like a day. It was already in the shop and they was going through it. Said he was gonna test drive it for me. Sure everything was good. Definitely want to put some miles on it. And cool thing about it, I want to buy rims for it right away because the old man painted it like an old army truck. I think it was light orange, the original color. I think all of them were orange. Orange or red, old tractor paint. I see more of those zero turns around here. Must be the go to grocery gators now.
so anything below that it makes it stutter on the video. But that's what I've noticed. And uh, I had to take the uh, the trailers having the brands and stuff on them, I think. Y'all know what lot I'm talking about. I had to take that off. Because every time I got close to a billboard or a sign or something like that, it would like jump. I'm working on it. Working on it little by little. I am going to work on trying to get a few uh, you guys on here with me. Those that want to be. I know this is not for everyone, but get a few guys on here, have a blast, or lady, whatever. I don't discriminate. I love everybody. There's a couple of other people that I watch too, like Jeff, um, he does GTA and stuff like that too, which I think everybody in the trucking simulator community knows him. Um, uh, there's, uh, there's Retro, there's, uh, fucking, uh, Hitman, I like his stuff too. 
There's a couple of others too, if I, if I remember them. I'll, I'll bring them up. Oh, got something going on over here. Yeah, I don't want to get in a pickle like I did last time. I know this car is going to go going ahead of you. Missed gear.
I had to walk away for a minute, kind of got choked up. She deserved it. She really did. Oh my goodness. I, don't, I bet you I won't be able to get around this. It probably won't even let me. Or it was just, uh, good gracious. Well, at least, uh, y'all get to see how bad this is. Please let me go through here and please do not trip out. <gasps> nope. Yep, see? Know it. Yep, I'm gonna squeeze through here. There's no trailer damage. It's just lagging right now. It dropped down to like 37. Well, we gotta blow stuff on this accident. That's pretty bad. The thing is, I always drive by those things, legit. Never really go look at them. That's not actually my first. That's the first time I've seen like boxes filled like that. Yeah, it's definitely. Wow, that looks cool over there. Town are we in? Yeah, I got a little choked up. I mean, I'm a dad. I mean, I got four kids. My son, he's grown. He's about to turn 18. And, uh, I have three little girls. I mean, they're still little to me, even though my oldest is almost a teenager. She'll be a teenager, uh, next year. Yeah. I don't know, there's just something in you when you have girls. I mean, most of you dads probably already know. You kind of get a little softer because you have to be gentle with them. Especially, I mean, they're, I mean, they're very emotional. Um, you gotta be, can't be as harsh, stern. Dad, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not saying that they're weak or nothing like that. Do not, I'm, don't put words in my mouth. I'm just saying that you just gotta be gentle with them. And, uh, but there's also something in you that's kind of primal. Like if somebody messes with them, they're, they're finished, like no question. Like you would go to prison for the rest of your life and you feel it deep down, like somebody messes with them, they're done, period. Same way with my wife. Somebody messed with my wife, man. It's a wrap, she knows it too. She knows the look in my eye too. I'm not crazy like that, but there's been a, a couple occasions where there's been people that got out of hand drinking and stuff. And we're trying to go out and have a good time and somebody acts stupid. But, yeah, when she sees that look in my eyes, rap, she's like, yep, time to go. I heard somebody. Got the dog, and like, like I was saying, he's a working animal. Like, he he'll look at you constantly, like looking for a direction to go, like for you to say something, tell him to do something. But we're definitely gonna work with him. He's, I mean, just wicked smart. And my daughter has already worked with him ever since he was a puppy. Um, the neighbor actually paid her to uh, walk all the dogs when they were puppies while they were getting sold until they uh, until there was only a couple of left she wasn't planning on giving it away but the way the dog acts around her and stuff she's like that's not my dog you know what I mean most dog lovers I mean you know what I mean too like if an animal is like I can, I, it's not imprinted, well you can say imprinted, like look at you like a mother, and kind of inseparable, like that dog's heart is with her, then you kind of know. So that's the extent of that. Yeah, I didn't mean to get all, all deep like that, but 
sometimes you gotta look at stuff that way. You gotta look at the bigger picture instead of what's going on. You know what I mean? Especially with uh, even things that's going on today. Um, politics, uh, all kinds of stuff, which I don't get into politics on this channel. Um, but, yeah, you gotta, you gotta do research these days for yourself and, like, put two and two together and make your own sense of things now. You can't just be like a, a sheep led to slaughter now. And then I have a feeling that's the way it's going right now. Just, uh, people just believe anything. It's more of a trend and control, which nobody likes. People that think outside the box never have. They usually get missing, especially when it comes to new technologies. That uh, cor big corporations don't want out. That ain't no conspiracy, that's truth. All that stuff's getting leaked now. Every single bit of it. Yeah, I better turn my lights on. Yeah, got them on. Turn my windshield wipers on. But that was enough of that conversation. Oh, turbo kicked in. Started spoiling. Building that boost. Pretty truck. Oh, yeah, that dropped to about 50. And dropped like that in a little while. Probably due to the rain stuff rendering in. I mean, I have a budget PC too. It's a, it's a Dell Octaplex 3020. I picked it up on Marketplace for like 70 bucks. Um, oh, before I even get into this, uh, when I decided to get a PC, I was not going to buy one off the shelf. I was going to build one myself. And if anybody's going to do that, if you really want to learn and not have to drop like thousands of dollars, I suggest you just start off with Octoplex. They're like the most simple, I mean you won't be able to play like AAA titles on like high settings. But uh, it's definitely playable. Like I can play Fortnite on here, but it's on low settings. It's playable. I wouldn't try to record no videos off of it, but definitely playable it, I, I, it doesn't look it almost looks like Nintendo 64 ish <laughs> I mean just, just a lot of the shrubs just there's no textures and stuff but uh it won't play modern warfare I mean if I turn it way down it will but I mean when it comes to it you want to see when you play a game you want to see pretty much everything in most detail which I know most shooters, a lot of people drop their their settings for better FPS, so there's no lag when they go to shoot. I mean, I I know that trick, but uh. All right, where am I parking this? Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, it's a Dell Optiflex, um, 3020. Uh, it's the, what is it, the big boy, the big, the big desktop, I mean, uh, yeah, it's a uh, office PC, regular, I think the process, well, the processor is an i5, I know it's like, uh, a 4K, um, I think it's, uh, don't quote me on this, it's like 4850 or 4580, something like that. And, uh, I have 16 gigs of RAM, uh, it's PNY, I got that from, like, Best Buy, it's not, like, gaming RAM, 
16 gigs and um, graphics card. I had a GT a 1030 that I bought brand new just to like watch good movies on another desktop. So I put it in this, played it for a while. And I had to play this on like super low settings. Like my very first videos, if you want to watch those, those were actually on that PC. It wasn't terrible, but when I put in the, uh, I bought literally the last one on the shelf on Amazon when everything was crazy with the prices and stuff and a lot of GPUs were hard to find like really good ones but um I bought a GTX uh 1650 it was like it was like 180 which I know that that's like over paying maybe by a little bit but at the time I was kind of desperate so but I done that so I wouldn't have to break the power supply, I wouldn't have to do all that. But I did build my own PC. I had an old uh, Asus, Asus, or whatever you call it, um, laying around. And it had an old copper core. I mean, I, you couldn't do nothing on it. But it had an, a huge, solid copper core heat sink. So I put it in my Optiplex and I tell you, it runs significantly cooler than with that stock one, the stock solid aluminum one. But yeah, I mean, I call it my little sleeper. I mean, it, it does it does the job. It does it fairly well, as you can see. I mean, it isn't bad. I mean, it's like at 80 FPS right now, mainly cause there's a lot of traffic and windshield wipers are going stuff like that but it's definitely playable and I want to say I paid just a little bit over the same amount as an Xbox S altogether. The 16 gigs of RAM was close to 100. I paid 70 for the PC and then 200 for the GPU and it does everything for me but we're gonna drop this off. I appreciate everyone joining me on this episode unload these cows I hope everyone has a good day and good or a good night or a good morning wherever you're at join me on the next episode as uh, either we'll be driving back or I'll just drive back and we'll jump in the truck since I got this cattle hauler kind of tired of hauling cattle at the moment so more than likely you guys will be seeing me jump in the the old 1950s peterbilt but join me next time peace out